about to rain. The nice thing is we have so many mowers that I can real mow at 1.5 and it'll be good with the Cali. <laughs> Two darkest lawns in the neighborhood. You're looking at it. I'm gonna talk about fall preparation, fall plans, all that good stuff. What are you supposed to do in the fall? Well. There's a lot of things you can do in the fall. If you didn't overseed yet, overseed. That's the best way to green up the situation. If you're gonna renovate, I mean, you can totally renovate if you want to. It'll definitely, like me, I renovated and it's good. Now, what I did was I sprayed a bunch of Roundup for lawns and it kind of killed the grass around it. So we might have to overseed again. I really want to lay down some sand so that's what I'm gonna do coming up here pretty soon is I'm gonna lay down some sand. I'm gonna lay down some, uh, well, first I'm gonna lay down some T-Zone. I magically obtained some T-Zone. <laughs> I know, but anyways, Roundup for lawns will definitely, I don't know if that's just a bleaching thing. I've never experienced that. What I really wanna do is T-Zone everything up. After three weeks, I'm gonna hit it up with some sand and overseed again. It's gonna be fantastic. Like I said before, I'm going to be slowly adding leveling material to ensure the springtime we demolish even more. It's not looking bad though. Worm castings, sure, we'll figure that out. Like I said, it's an ongoing process. But you can't beat the look of this right now. Let's cut it down. I'm hoping that the Roundup for Lawns is just a bleaching effect and not something like, like it didn't kill the grass as well. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking right. It's looking right. <laughs> Let's get to mowing. Nice pants, Dad. Okay, so like I was talking about, it's fall, so I have to do preparation with herbicides. On top of T-Zone, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually gonna put down some Prograss EC. What Prograss EC is gonna do. God damn, brother. It's gonna eliminate more of the broadleaf as well as a ton of POA. Just anything POA. We'll get there. See this, weed's dying. I sprayed the weeds. Mm -hmm there are too. too many weeds yeah see like this i gotta spray all this or else it's just gonna keep coming and coming and coming look at that i should spray his too ricks needs a weed weed job now there are a ton of things you can do for fall like i said you can overseed you can reno i'm gonna kill weeds at this point in time because i already renoed you can also do what's called a nitrogen blitz essentially that's what we've been doing this entire year <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no change to what we're doing here yes you add a ton but it's like you're just shocking the system what you want with your nitrogen and your fertilizer is to be consistent we weekly fertilize we spoon feed we mollycoddle now i'm gonna do a little something different this year so first i'm gonna spray the weeds spray all the weeds
weeds. I'm going to do a first verticut, then I'm gonna compost. I wanna give it as much nutrients as possible. And then I'm gonna sand. It's just gonna be a full on like process of nutrients, a full on process of leveling it out on top of constant mows and the same thing we've been doing all season long, just providing nutrients to the lawn. Like making sure that you're always applying fertilizer, the lawn is always being fed. It's not like, oh, you know, we haven't really been doing anything, now I'm gonna nitrogen blitz it. That, that's not how that works. Right now, cool season grass, you're gonna get the growth, right? But why not keep it level and consistent? Just weekly, just hit it weekly with the same thing we've been doing. Now, I am gonna try to find cheaper ways to do things because a, a lot of you guys are like, you know, oh, I can't wait to start affording these expensive fertilizers. Well, I don't want you guys to have to save up to buy stuff. I'm just gonna start utilizing like more affordable ways to do things and then testing that stuff out. That way you guys can do it right away as well. I don't want you guys having to spend, you know, $400 on product that's gonna last you for two months. That's not right. I'm gonna start getting like cheaper nitrogen. That way, you know, if someone asks, I can tell them, oh, I use this. Oh, you just use that? Yeah, hell yeah, I just use that. A big tip I have for you guys, Roundup for lawns. Oh my God, there's a bee. Is that a, is that a, sorry. Roundup for lawns. It says it does not kill the grass. Oh, it's, it's, look at that. definitely bleaches and I'm hoping that's not killing it right I have to apply this herbicide that way in three weeks we can compost and sand and overfeed yet again this video is hella random <laughs> What do we have here? <laughs> T-Zone and Prograss. Now I'm telling you right now, this could very well destroy the lawn. That's why I'm prepping for an overseed. I can already see things coming through. And me no likey the poa. Me no likey poa annua. Me no likey. Yeah, see I sprayed Roundup for lawns and other weeds are popping up because they didn't blanket spray. So of course it's, it's gonna pop up even more and even more through. It's all good. Like I said, we have a plan. This is our fall plan. This is my fall plan. Round up for lawns. Get your hands on some T-Zone. All right, let me clean out the spray. -a. I don't recommend doing what I just did. If you put glyphosate in one of your sprayers, don't use it again for herbicides. Get something separate. But I don't really mind because even if it kills everything, I'm going to see it again in three weeks so not a big deal to me at least t-zone and progress together you can totally do that together because they're both herbicides definitely do not use the same sprayer as if you already put glyphosate down okay yeah there's too many weeds just to spot treat you by the, by the end of a month with roundup for lawns You'll just have a splotchy, blotchy lawn. I was using it in the back and it was working fine. But the moment you put it on the showpiece, it starts getting blotchy. That's the thing I, I hate about over the counter. <laughs> the, you know, the readily available type of products at the big box store. You know, the Spectricides and the Roundup for lawns. It's like, it gets the job done, but then you're waiting forever. You know what I mean? So that's why we're adding T-Zone and Prograss. T-Zone's fairly inexpensive. Dicamba uh, 2,4-D, right? Whatever. Of course, you have the uh, Prograss EC, which is just the best. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you right now, I think Prograss EC has made my lawn a lot more different than most because it's just an even color. Even when I had just all the different grass types in there, just using Prograss EC would eliminate all the unnecessary grass and it literally just makes it pretty even you know 
So one application in the spring, one application in the fall. It's such a random day because it's like, is it gonna rain or not? We out here, we having fun. It's looking good though. It's looking great. Yeah, that's looking really good. But you know me, I like to test things out and then if it, if it, you know, if it doesn't work, then we just seed. But so far, it's all worked. <laughs> the only thing that didn't work was like my first season when I used the Ortho Nut Sedge from the big box, it destroyed the entire project. So I had to wait till spring to overseed again. And that was a mess. See, the thing about me is I'm not scared to ruin the lawn in the short term. That's why I do herbicides. Because eventually, and like I said, the next couple weeks, you just seed and it grows. Halloween, it's better than ever because you don't have any poa going in. You don't have any stupid weeds. So it's gonna be legit. Rick, you want me to spray? Yeah. You want me to spray, I got it. So I'll spray this on mine and yours first, and then I'll spray this after. Okay, so we'll be all knocked in front of Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna spray Rick's too. We're gonna go T-Zone first. So just to be safe, cause I don't wanna ruin anyone's lawn since I was testing it out on ours, let's just use the backpack sprayer and then wash it out. Let's do that. So what I'll do is I'll put some iron with the T-Zone. That way it'll keep it green in case anything goes bad. And then of course we're gonna have to seed the, the weed stuff. Yeah, I see the universe, the universe did that to me. It said, do not use the glyphosate spray. See, that's why it says glypho only, right? So. T-Zone, what's the application? I remember reading it. It was trichloropyl 2,4-D and dicamba, that's right. 1.5 ounces per thousand. Let's go three ounces, hit ours, hit his. Three ounces. Three ounces iron. Okay, let's spray ours first, then Rick's. This mask isn't gonna do shit, but. Be the crack grass too. Okay, we sprayed for weeds. How's it going? Hi. Welcome to Rick's My Lawn. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi, hey, my friend. You. Yeah, I will see you soon. I'm gonna go spray my back. Yeah. <laughs> see you, brother. Later, man. Their lawn is about to be banging. Like banging, banging. Okay, let me spray the back and then I'll hit the front up with some progress. Easy. We have a greens. 
you can't spray on the greens. So you gotta be very careful. Actually, I can hit the collar real quick because it's all a mix plus that right on the side. Now, the herbicide that I need for it, they're sold out of the smaller bottle, which is 190. The big bottle, again, is the price tag of almost $600 for a spot that's not even maybe 600 square feet. <laughs> so there's that. Do I have to get it? No, I could keep pulling the weeds, but I've been pulling the weeds and nothing's happening. My guess, we might have to do it. So much money, but you gotta keep the greens nice. So that's another thing with the fall. I gotta hit it up with a bunch of sand, a bunch of nitrogen. I have to verticut. There's a lot of things you gotta do. Okay, let's add some of this progress to our lawn. I was gonna put some on Rick's, but his is looking so good. And I'm not really seeing any POA on his lawn. I've never really seen POA on Rick's lawn. It's always been very taken care of. I don't know why we have POA. Maybe it's because I add a bunch of soil all the time. And Rick, you know, Rick does add soil and stuff, but yeah, his lawn's gonna be dope after the weeds are gone. I'm telling you, T-Zone is the best. Let's go four ounces just to be safe. I don't wanna overdo it. You can spray Progress EC twice in fall, if needed, okay? Pre and post emergent but you have to wait six weeks after seeding or after the second or third mow. This is gonna be a little sketchy just because it is so new and you saw what the Roundup did to the lawn and it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be risky because we're definitely spraying seedlings. It's only been, it's been six weeks, but we just sprayed down some T-Zone. We're gonna spray down the Progress and it's, it might ruin it. That's why I only did the T's on Rick's and not the Progress as well. Like I said, I barely see any POA in his, but ours is infested with POA. Front and back, let's go. Hat trick and fireball with Progress EC, middle of September. If I see anything else popping up, we're gonna spray it again in the end of October. You gotta be careful with them greens because bent grass, for some reason, gets eliminated by all of these herbicides. Not, it's not meant for it. You have to buy the expensive herbicide that's meant for bent grass. And I'm telling you, it's not cheap. It is not cheap. It's literally like 600 bucks. Almost impossible to get here. Progress on Kentucky 31 will eliminate it because it's so similar to Poa Annua. You, you, you know, I'm just happy that I have all this information in my head. Whew. It's always nerve wracking when you, you spray herbicides because you just never know what's gonna happen, like I said. That's, that's what I got working with right now. I know this, this episode's just like all over the place, but I hope you guys got little bits and pieces of what I'm talking about. We got to spray Rick's lawn. That's always fun. I always like hooking Rick up. He's super nice, super cool. Anything he needs, no, no worries, I got him. I want his lawn to be just as good as ours. A little bit of iron, because I wanted more iron on his. <laughs> uh, you know, just in case the T-zone affects the current grass. You want that iron to supplement and give it some color. Roundup for lawns, I take it back. I definitely wait for it to be an established type grass, like the backyard. My backyard can take the Roundup for lawns. The thing about Roundup for lawns though is, you spray that one weed, next door, there's gonna be a weed. You know what I mean? That's why I like T-Zone. I wanna try some Speed Zone as well. I heard it's just as good. 
you want to blanket spray everything so nothing comes up. So, you know, it's a pre and post, right? You want to eliminate it being there and then preventing it from coming up as well. Roundup for lawns, you're spot treating, but you're wasting money in my opinion, right? See, at first I was like, ooh, Roundup for lawns, but no, now it's, you got a blanket spray. So for you Washingtonians out there trying to get all these herbicides, it's impossible. <laughs> Telling you, I'm having fun out here. It, it's, it's, I have the seriousness when the lawn's not perfect yet, like worm castings, weeds, poa annua, possibly poa trivialis. And then I have the bent grass, which needs its own herbicide, which is very expensive. It is so pricey. It is like, ugh. And then I have to find a way to get it here. And then, of course, just, you know, having it thick and lush and having it look amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's definitely better than everyone else's. It, you can't deny that it's, it's, it's a delicious lawn. But at the end of the day, you want more. You want it as close to perfect as possible. And that's the goal. We're, get, we're gonna get there one day. We're gonna get to as close as perfect as possible. We're dialing down all of our methods and ways to make the grass great. And as you can see, I, I don't even fertilize back here. It's looking too good. Remember that dead spot? It's gone. It's it's thriving. You can't beat the back back. Very low maintenance. It's only watered once every four days now. Barely watered. Kentucky 31 is very drought resistant. You can let this thing go forever. Like if you're if you just want a like a backyard grass, that's nice. I mean it's coarse. It's not the nicest thing on your your skin. But it's it's gravy. It's it's very. Look at it. I mean, if this was in someone's front lawn, you're like, damn, what's that guy doing? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good grass. Anyways, my dudes, I'm gonna find something to do this week. We just sprayed everything, so we gotta wait. Maybe I'll just start collecting the sand and all that good stuff in preparation and the compost. I'm gonna I'm gonna put down some of my mushroom compost. Remember, we did the mushroom compost in the backyard, and it's thriving like crazy style. Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys are the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.